disloyalty, has faced wave of backlash as not make any moves to celebrate Queen's crucial milestone. The couple, who live in Montecito, California, had not posted any message of congratulations by the end of the day, UK time. February 6 marked seven decades since the death of King George VI, leaving his daughter and heir Elizabeth to take over as monarch. The Queen spent the day in quiet reflection at Sandringham and used the occasion to confirm her sincere wish that Prince Charles' wife Camilla should be known as Queen Consort when the Prince of Wales becomes King. Charles responded with his own message, congratulating his mother on her remarkable Platinum Jubilee. But the Sussex's communications channels remained silent throughout the day. The couple rarely post on social media but have used the website of their Archul Foundation to make statements, including the announcement of their second child, Lilibet. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have been branded as grifters by US talk show host Tucker Carlson over their feud with Spotify. Prince Harry and wife Meghan Markle have been branded as grifters by US talk show host Tucker Carlson. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have also been slammed as pathetic and irrelevant by a retired judge, with a former presidential aide telling Harry that nobody cares what he thinks in America. The criticism comes amid speculation the couple may ditch their $25 million Spotify deal after they hit out at COVID misinformation which was being spread by fellow podcaster Joe Rogan. As rumors continue to circulate about their future with Spotify, Fox News talk show host Tucker Carlson hit out at the royal couple as he called Prince Harry brain dead. The furious host blasted, that annoying fake duchess from LA and her brain-dead husband threatened to walk unless Spotify muzzled Joe Rogan. But they're not going anywhere. These two grifters have a $25 million deal with Spotify for essentially no work. So far, we believe they have produced just over 30 minutes of content. That means these two have been paid about a million dollars for each minute of talking they've done. That's a good gig. It's too good to leave. Following Carlson's scathing rant, host Greg Gutfeld also hit out at Harry and Meghan as he branded the pair as deadbeats. On the show called The Five, the host raged, they're a bunch of deadbeats. And his guest, who was retired New York judge Janine Pirro, described them as pathetic and irrelevant. In America, nobody cares what you think, the former judge fumed. The criticism comes after a royal expert claimed Harry and Meghan have gone for the money over principles by sticking by their multi-million dollar podcast deal with Spotify. Harry and Meghan, who have been supporting vaccine equity, signed a lucrative deal with the streaming giant to host and produce podcasts, estimated to be worth around 25 million US dollars, 18 million pounds, in late 2020. Following the outcry over Rogan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex expressed concerns to Spotify over the COVID misinformation but said they will continue to work with them. Royal expert Richard Eden says they have been stuck between principles or money, reports the Daily Star. He said on Mail Plus Palace Confidential that the situation was a nightmare for the Sussexes, pointing out that while they campaigned against misinformation their decision on Spotify showed that money came first for them. The royal commentator said, for years they've gone on about the dangers of misinformation, it's become a real pet cause of theirs. And then here they are with Spotify, accused of spreading misinformation through Joe Rogan's very popular podcast. But Harry and Meghan have signed a very lucrative deal with Spotify that's meant to be worth £18 million. So between the principles and money, it's always a question of which will they go for and it seems they've gone for the money. They put out a rather sort of mealy-mouthed statement about the dangers of misinformation, but they've made clear they're sticking with Spotify. So it looks like sort of Joe Rogan's one really.